What's up guys, it's Carson here with another quick video for you and this video is gonna be an experiment video and I usually don't do stuff like this but I think that this is something that a lot of people are thinking about, wondering about and I'm like, let's just make a video. I think I talked about it in one of the previous videos and I gotta do that. So, you know, today I'm talking about, again, charging on the iPhone and I think that Apple, it only makes sense for them to switch to USB-C to Lightning. I know they're gonna stay Lightning on their iOS devices. They won't go USB-C like everybody else. That's just how Apple does it. But it just makes sense for them to have USB-C because all their new computers are getting USB-C. We might even see iMacs and Mac Pros with USB-C later this year. Crossing my fingers on that. But when you have USB-C, you have the potential to hook up up to 100 watts of power to your iPhone or to your iPad, you know, to your lightning cable connected device. And I'm like, could that damage your iPhone, your iPad, you know? And I've checked on their website and it says that the 29 watt wall adapter that comes with your 12 inch MacBook can be used for fast charging iPad and your iPad Pro and your iPhone. So it's, it's safe to use this 29 watt, but what about the other ones that Apple gives you? They also make a 61 watt, that is for your 13 inch MacBook Pros, the new ones that came out at the end of last year, and they also make a 87 watt. This thing is huge, it's dense, it's heavy, and I'm sure it out, you know, outputs a lot of power for those 15 inch MacBook Pros. And what if we hook this up to an iPhone? What is it gonna do? I'm very curious, and you know, I don't like making videos where we break phones. I hate, you know, people who break phones just for views. You know, I think that's kind of tacky, but we're gonna do it today for educational purposes. And I think that um, I can go ahead and give you my hypothesis. I think that it's not gonna damage the phone. Well, it's not gonna damage it, damage the phone in a way where you can't use it anymore. I think that it could do damage to the battery itself over time with using something like this, but I think you can still use the phone even with it hooked up to this. So we're about to find out. So let's see, where should we start? What, the 29 watt? We'll start there. So I'm gonna just take these guys off and I'm gonna connect it right to a cable that I have. Oh, already hooked up here. So this is plugged into the wall behind me and we're gonna start with the 29 watt wall adapter. We're gonna plug our USB-C in right here, boom. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in, whoop, can't stay on the table here, I'm gonna put my arm right here. All right, so plugging in, and it buzzes. Maybe I should get it to do the little dong. That, that's always fun. I, I like how the MacBooks do that now. There we go. All right, let me make it good and loud for you. Because we know this one works. I've actually used this to charge my phone before. Just showing to you that it works. It's saying charging, you can you know, use the phone. I'm looking at the mirror over here, making sure that it's scrolling, but yes, it works. And I've used it for hours on end, and I think that it's totally fine. And it hasn't damaged my battery. I haven't seen any difference in my you know, battery life during the day. It stays the same. Okay, let's, so let's move up to the next one in line, the 61 watt for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Let me take everything apart here. Boom. Okay, now. Slide that bad boy on there, pop it in. Watch it give like an error message. Too much juice, man. <laughs> Swap to a different wall adapter. All right, we're gonna plug this in. I'm just charging. You know, it looks like you can, you know, everything's fine. I don't see any issues. Oh, it says turn off airplane mode or use, oh, I went into an app, that's all it was. But yeah, it looks looks fine, operating fine. Shows charging in the in the top right hand corner. I think you can use this, it's totally fine. Now, for the big question, will it work with this 87 watt wall adapter? This is the one that I'm like, okay, this one might you know, make the phone catch on fire, but we'll plug it in. Uh, hold on, I don't wanna just plug it in with it plugged into the iPhone. Let's, let's just plug in the cable first, then we'll plug it into the phone. All right, plugged in here, and Nothing, no warning message, nothing. Still operating fine, you can use everything on it. Let's just play some tunes. How about a little Bruno Mars? Oh wait, I'm on airplane mode. I feel it coming, I feel it coming baby. 
Here we go, here we go. Bruno. Them slow jams. Versace on the floor. Operating just fine. That new album is really good. You should go check it out. But I think that you can pretty much use whatever you want to charge your iPhone. Now, over time, this could potentially damage your battery. Um, I would recommend using the wall adapter that comes with it. But it seems like you can use all of these to charge your iPhone. So that's it. You know, I was wrong. I thought that the phones would explode or something, but it didn't happen. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.